Hello guys, welcome in Cool IT Help. This is a new Java FX tutorial for you. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set image on tooltip. So right now you can see on my screen, this is the FXML based project. And here I have used the tooltip on the checkbox and the button. And here you can see uh, one image is uh, appearing with uh, the tooltip. So you guys can set an image icon on your tooltip for your application. So here I will show you how you can do it. This is guy. This is very easy. We have to write just three and four lines of code to do this thing. I will show you. So guys, uh, before starting, I have a request. If you think this video is useful for you, so please like this video and share with your friends as well. And guys, please uh, subscribe my channel. Uh, and press the notification bell so you will get the latest video updates on time okay guys now let's get started so i'm closing this stage and i will explain you what i have done in this example okay so first of all uh, this is my uh, fxml based project so i have created in the netbeans ide so here initially we have these three files uh, the fxml and controller and the startup file which has a start method and uh, what i have done in the fxml i will show you so here is my fxml so in this fxml i am uh, using one button and i have placed one checkbox okay and here i have assigned the fx id to these buttons so we will use the object reference in the controller file in the same way for the checkbox you can see uh, FX ID is assigned here okay guys so only things I have done here okay so now I'm minimizing this one and uh, going back in the net beans so I will explain the code what you have to do first of all you have to uh, uh, find one image icon okay so you can uh, uh, get this icon from the website or you can create your own icon for your application so here i am i am using the icon which is in png format and uh, it looks like uh, uh, this thumbnail okay and uh, we have height and width 40 by 40 because uh, if you are using very big image so that will not fit and that will not look suitable uh, at tooltip so keep it uh, very small and uh, uh, use the photoshop to uh, re uh, reduce the size of your image and maintain the aspect ratio so that will look uh, pretty good on the tooltip okay in this example i am using this image png and this is 40 by 40 image okay and uh, here we have controller file so i am going to explain what i have done here okay inside the controller uh, we have assigned the uh, FX in this controller here is the object reference for the button so this is the FX ID for the button that we have assigned inside the FX mill in the same way we have uh, this uh, checkbox uh, FX ID and this is a very common step in every JavaFX application so we are going to use this uh, button and checkbox in the further code okay there is no use of this one and uh, inside the initialize method we will see what I have done so the first step is we have to create the image object so what you have to do simply use the image class and uh, inside the constructor of image you have to pass uh, this kind of thing uh, resource as a stream so you have to use this method get class dot get resource as a stream and then you have to pass the string name okay so we are using a uh, get a uh, resource as a stream method so it is just looking for this image inside the base package okay where we have all these three files so i have placed this image icon okay this okay guys in uh, next line uh, at line number 49 so here i have created the uh, simple tooltip object we are using the tooltip class okay and uh, with the help of new keyword and in the uh, uh, constructor we have to pass the string 
so the text you want to display on the tool tip so you have to pass inside the constructor so this is a simple statement in the same way i have created the uh, uh, again a new tool tip object so created for the radio button and here we have passed the string this is a radio button okay and now moving in the next line so once we are ready with the tooltip object we have to set this tooltip on the uh, button or radio button or the target object so uh, what we have to do simply uh, this is our button object so call the method set tooltip and pass this tooltip object so in this uh, line at line number 53 we have connected our tooltip with the button so now you will hover the mouse on the button then this tooltip will display okay the same way we have to apply tooltip on the checkbox okay at uh, line number 57 we have done this thing checkbox set tooltip and we have passed the object of tooltip and now in the last step we have to display our image icon with the tooltip so what we have to do very simple this is the tooltip object for the button and we have to call set graphic method and here you have to pass the image view object because we required a placeholder to place our image so this is the image object but this image will not display directly uh, on the tooltip we we need a placeholder so we are using image view as a placeholder for this image okay and uh, this image is placed inside the tooltip so set graphic method is doing the thing for us this is placing an image just before the tooltip text so here we have associated the image with the tooltip okay and now in the same way we have applied the same image on the checkbox tooltip so this is the checkbox tooltip object and we are calling the set graphic method and we are passing the image view object as we have done for the button so guys uh, this is the way we can set the image a very small image icon with the tooltip okay guys now i'm going to run this project so first i will take a clean build uh, this is uh, practice and uh, this is very good practice every time when you go for the uh, run application just take a clean build before that okay it is done and successful okay now i'm going to run this run file okay here we are we have the stage and we got this button and the checkbox let me show you the tooltip see this uh, we have used this x uh, image so it is appearing uh, properly this is button so first image is appearing uh, which is image icon inside the tooltip and uh, for the second one for the checkbox it is also placed perfectly so guys uh, this is the way you can use uh, image icon any kind of image icon jpg png and uh, but we have to reduce the size to fit with this tooltip otherwise it will it will look weird so guys uh, i hope uh, uh, this concept is clear to you still you have any doubts so please comment in the comment box and uh, i will try my best to reply as soon as possible and guys if you found this video useful so please share with your friends as well and guys please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon if you want the latest video updates from my channel on time and guys for now thanks for watching who like help